Welcome back to The Showroom Presents. Did you know that American families throw out as much as 25% of the food and beverages they buy each year? That equates to about $1,500 wasted annually by a family of four. Joining us today to offer some simple steps on how to avoid food waste in our homes is actress and singer Megan Hilty. Hi, Megan. Hey, Lori. So you've acted on Broadway and Wicked and 9 to 5 the musical, TV as well, plus you're a mom, and you were just here in Buffalo singing with our, our uh, Philharmonic. Uh, why is it important, the cause of not wasting food so important to you? Well, there are many elements to this. I mean, first of all, the numbers are shocking. 25% uh, of the food that we're wasting, like you said, is, is going into the trash. $1,500 is um, not a number that I'm comfortable with throwing away every year. Um, and so it's something that I've become increasingly concerned about, which is why I've started to work with GLAD to raise awareness about all the, the food that we're wasting. So with such a busy schedule, how do you find time to prepare and preserve the food for your family? Well, I found that it actually only takes a few minutes right after you get the food home from the grocery store. Uh, if you just uh, take a couple minutes to properly store it, it's going to save you so much more time and ultimately a, a lot of money uh, in the long run. So obviously different types of food, meat, poultry, fruits, vegetables, they're going to require different things to keep fresh. So what tips do you have on keeping ingredients fresh when we come home with them from the grocery store? Well, I've always wondered uh, how long things are going to uh, stay fresh in the refrigerator. And that's one of the great things about GLAD's website. Uh, if you just go to GLAD.com and say you brought home a bag of strawberries and you're wondering uh, how long they're going to keep fresh in the refrigerator, um, just go to GLAD.com and type in strawberries and they're going to tell you what type of container they should be in and uh, and how long they're going to last. And I like to write on the container or put a little sticker on the container uh, the date that they're going to go bad by uh, so that every time I go to the refrigerator I see how long I have until they're going to go bad and I'm then I'm more likely to eat it. Yeah, it's kind of tough with fresh fruit, fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, because it's not like a prepackaged item. It doesn't have that little date on there for you. So you have to do a little bit of work to, to get the dates on how long things are going to last. Yeah, but it's so easy to look these things up. Um, I, I was kind of shocked <laughs> at how easy it was. And now, now my refrigerator is so beautiful. <laughs> just, just in raising this awareness for myself, um, because it is so important to me. Um, it's it's made me much more of an organized person, um, something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> and especially when you're spending good money on, on healthy foods, not prepackaged foods, you do want to keep those preserved and able to use instead of having to throw them away. Exactly. Those are the things that we're spending the most money on, our fruits and vegetables and, and our meats. Uh, so, of course, you're going to want to uh, extend the life of, of those foods as much as you can. And Megan, can you give us that website one more time for our viewers to, to get some more information about uh, time lengths for different types of foods for freshness? Yep, just go to glad.com and they've got tons of tips to help you preserve and protect the food that you're buying. Fantastic. Now, what have you been working on lately? What can we see you in next, Megan? Oh gosh, well, I, I just shot a pilot for ABC, so just waiting to hear um, when that, what's going to happen with that. Uh, but other than that, I'm doing a bunch of concerts, like the one I just did in Buffalo. I have a lot of symphony concerts and uh, a two-week run at the Cafe Carlisle here in Manhattan uh, at the end of May. Um, and we're doing a big smash concert uh, on June 8th. It's a nice reunion for us. Very nice. Megan Hilty, thank you so much for joining us here on The Showroom Presents to talk about food storage. And next time you're in Buffalo, we hope we can stay a little bit longer. Yeah, me too. Thank you so much, Lori. <laughs> Don, you call that showing off? How about the dazzling diamond deals we're showing off at The Showroom on Union? Diamond engagement rings. Diamond band. Diamond anniversary. Diamond fashion. Diamonds, diamonds, and, and more, more diamonds. diamonds. All at a fraction of the pricey stores. And buy with confidence because all showroom diamonds will come with a Gem Lab certificate as requested, guaranteeing natural diamonds of value. Don't forget, we feature GIA certified diamonds. Showing off great diamonds and great deals every day. At Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom on Union.